Hey guys, welcome back to ECL Everyday Choose Love. Thank you for visiting our channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a DIY. You will need a clean prepped jar. You can do that by removing your label. You can use Gooby Gone, nail polish remover, sometimes just soap and water. This one is gonna take some elbow grease to get off. And paint of your choice. I'm using a combination of chalk paints I'm going to add baking soda for texture, uh, possibly even add um, some rosemary for a little different um, texture. I thought I might try that today. So stick around and let's get busy. Here you can see I'm trying to remove the label. And this label means business. Apparently that's why it's such an expensive bottle. Mm. So I'm trying to loosen up to make my work a little easier, but I might just let Gooby Gone do the work for me here in a minute. Snickers, what are you doing, buddy? Um, the cap is very childproof. All right, we have a clean glass. I ended up using both the Gooby Dawn and the nail polish remover to get the residue off. So the next step is I'm going to paint this the white. But I'm going to mix in some baking soda to give it some texture. So I literally threw on a first coat. You can see how it's streaky, but you can also see how some of the texture is building. Um, that's a design in the bottle. Um, it's kind of cool. So we're going to let that dry before we build a little bit more texture, but I do want to show you something I found today at the Dollar Tree. So this is a little lantern, Christmas lantern. It is looks super cheap, but when we get through with it, it's not going to, but it does light up. So I think when we get finished with it, you might be surprised. Okay, so I've done a second coat. You can see I've got some drips going on here that I've got to clean up. And then I'm going to go in and start adding more texture. So I just wanted to get it a little bit more covered. And I did start a first coat on the little cheap little lantern. All right, so I want to show you guys where we're at. Eddie, you're in the frame, so say hello. Hey. <laughs> so you can see the texture. I'm trying to let the light catch it a little bit. But we're gonna add a little clove. And I'm just gonna kind of pat it around a couple places just to age it, dirty, dirty it up some. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rub it through my hands and then I'm just kind of like that. So, and when you do it, you have to make that noise like, like some kind of noise you got to. I just did work. See? All right, so I'll be back in a few after I kind of make it old. See, as I get older, I want things to look old with me. So, <laughs> All right, so here is the finished product, at least the finished base. I'm not really sure if I'm going to change out the greenery, but I think it looks super cute. It definitely is a, a great project for free. And I had the floral pick. This came from, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree. I did do a little quick spray paint on that just to kind of soften that out a bit. But there you have it. So I moved it into the bathroom just to stage it. Um, yep, it's a cake plate in my bathroom. Anyway, um, 
you can kind of see how it could go with a lot of different decor. So whether you're your little eclectic bohemian, whether you're farmhouse, you know, or if you wanted to change it out and keep it just blank and not put anything in it and put a stopper on it, maybe you want to, you know, style it with something more modern, you know, it's up to you. But just to show you how I really do use whiskey bottles, um, here's mouthwash. So, you know, be creative, think about what you have at your house, what you could use, and keep crafting. Thanks for watching, you guys, and stay tuned. Maybe I'll do a follow-up on that uh, little plastic lantern if it turns out okay.